Yo, what is going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. As you already know, I am JD and thank you for stopping by. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and really help me grow this channel. We have a lot to talk about today, a lot of sneaker drops, and really there is just so much to talk about to try to fit into this one video. It may run a little long today, just to warn you, but I hope you stick with me because there are really nice sneakers coming. So to begin, on April 25th, we have the Billie Eilish Air Force One Highs that are dropping. Now these are in the neutral colors with the khakis and the Velcro straps. And you'll be able to pick those up for $170 on the sneakers app, along with her clothing line. A bunch of it is really nice clothing actually, and it reminds me of the essential clothing line. So definitely go out and take a look and let me know what your thoughts are. On April 26, you have the Jordan 1 Comfort in the multicolorway. I've never been a fan of the Jordan 1 Comfort. For me, it is just something that doesn't really appeal to my eye. I don't like the cuts that they use on that, but I know that some people do. So I hope you do like them and you can go get these for $140. On April 27th, there is a restock on sneakers of the Jordan 6 UNC in the grade school size. As you can tell, I'm a fan. I like mine. I definitely recommend going to get these if you could fit a grade school size. But even for a resale, I believe these will have a nice value to them. So go get those, hit those for retail, and flip them if you want. And you'll be able to get those for $160. Now, on April 28th, there is a very busy day. We have two different Air Force One mids dropping. We have the Independence Day and the Ale Brown colorway dropping. Now, typically I'm not a mid fan of Air Forces, but something about these and the iridescent toe boxes and heel caps and the strap that I just really like. I, in particular, I really like the Independence Day. I think I might have to pick up a pair of those. Now, you'll be able to pick up each one of these for $140. And I don't know that the resale value will be there, but the rockability of these are definitely high. So go get these if you want. Also, on April 28th, you have the women's Jordan 11 Low in the pure violet colorway. I like these. It has a little hit of the violet around the patent leathers. It gives it a nice little touch to match the white on there. I'm able to pick these up for $190. I've not seen these on the sneakers app, but they may add them later on. Now, on the 29th, we also have another big day. To begin, you have the Jordan 13 in the brave blue colorway. I am a fan of the Jordan 13s. I think they've done quite well. I love that silhouette. This brave blue, I'm not quite sure why it's called brave blue on this colorway, but I do like the, the black and blue colors. The 3M reflecting material is still there. The holograms are still there. So definitely go out and get these, especially if you're a Jordan 13 fan. And you'll be able to pick these up for $200. Now, on the 29th, right now this is just rumored. I have not been able to confirm this, but I just want to give you this information just in case it does drop. The Jordan 2 Ama Manier is dropping. Now, again, this is rumored. I have not been able to confirm this, but if these do drop, be ready for the Ama Manier website or the sneakers app to be able to pick these up. I have not seen any raffles or anything like that as of yet. I will update you guys if I do come across them. Now, when these do drop, you'll be able to pick them up for $225 and they will go quick. They have the Ama Manier very much color to them with the hits of the cream and browns. So I will be going to get these as I just got the Union Jordan 2s. I think I might just become a Jordan 2 fan. Uh, these, these awesome colorways that are coming out. Also on the 29th, the Puma Mellow Ball 01's Galaxies are dropping. As you guys know from watching my videos, I'm a big fan of this shoe. I will be getting this. The hit of the fluorescent orange and greens on there with the Galaxy on the heels really just, I mean, I love the colorways that they come out with. 
I will be getting these. I will review these for you. But you guys should go get them too because you're not going to be able to find another basketball sneaker in this affordable with this much quality to it. You're going to be able to pick these up for $125 on the Puma site. Go get these. I hope you guys enjoy them just like I do. On April 30th, with the Dornbecker and Nike collaboration, for those that don't know, Dornbecker Hospital and Nike started a collaboration back in 2004. And with that collaboration, they started raising money to help support the kids that are being treated at that hospital. Not only is it a great cause, these are really some of the most fire sneaker designs that come out. They have great designs. They have a great meaning behind those designs. So I'm so excited to share these sneakers with you. And although there are much more that are coming out, I'm going to share three of them with you now. So on April 30th, the LeBron 19 Dornbecker is dropping. This was designed by Sam David Phelps, a young man that was treated at that hospital. Now you'll, you'll be able to pick these up for $200. And you can take a look at the design with the gold hit. It really is a very nice sneaker design. And kudos to that kid to helping with that design. Also on April 30th, you had the Jordan 5 Low that was designed by Michael Wilson, another young man that was treated at that hospital. He said he got the inspiration from sharks, mac and cheese, and airplanes. And you can really tell in this sneaker. You'll be able to pick these up for $200. To round us off on the Durham Becker sneaker collaboration, you have the Nike Blazer Mid 77s, and this was designed by Amon Wamala. Now, I hope I pronounced that name correctly because you did such a great job on this sneaker that you really need all the credit. If you take a look at this, the hits of the purple, the hits of the black, and the bottoms are just a really nice put together design sneaker. And I am not a Nike Blazer Mid fan, but I will be trying to get these. Here is a picture of all the kids that participated and designed. And there's many more sneakers that are coming out. There's SB Dunks that will be coming out. There's Air Force Ones that will be coming out. So take a look for those as well. To finish us off on April 30th, you have the KCDC and Nike SB collaboration. Now this is a two-tone pink Dunk High that will be dropping. Now I only see these right now in SB Skate Shops. Do not see them coming on the Nike or Sneakers app at this moment. But pay attention just in case they do. I do know that they are on the European sneaker release. So that would round us off for the US releases. And now we're gonna move over to the European sneaker releases for the week of the 25th. So just like the US, the Billie Eilish Air Force One highs will be dropping in the neutral colors. I know there will be fans of this sneaker, Unfortunately, that's just not me. Now, the clothing that is coming out, I happen to really like. It gives me the Essentials vibe. Now, on April 26th, the Women's Dunk Low Animal Instincts will be dropping. You'll be able to pick these up for 110 euro. Also on the 26th, the Air Jordan 1 Mid in the Dark Teal is dropping. It's a hit of the teal in pink. For $120, you'll be able to pick that up on the Nikes app. Finish us off on the 26th, the Nike Dunk Low Prism Pink is dropping. It's a very pink dunk. I am not a fan of these. I don't think these will sell out either. I just don't see this as a very wearable sneaker. This is a grade school pair, so maybe a kid would enjoy them a little bit better than I would. And you'll be able to pick these up for 95 27th, you have the Jordan 1 Comfort in the Court Purple colorway. As I mentioned in the US, I don't like Comfort Jordan 1 so much. I just don't like how they look and how they cut the tops of those with the exposed foam. I, it's just not for me. But if you happen to like it, I do like this colorway. So go out and get that. Be able to pick these up for 150 euro. So the 28th is quite busy for the European market. To begin, you have the Nike Dunk Low Coconut Milk dropping. It's a super clean colorway. What else can I say? This one is quite nice and it will be coming in the men's sizes. You'll be able to pick these up for 100 euro. And not to be too late, on April 28th, the Dunk Low Women's Easter will be dropping. Just a few weeks late, but you could also pick these up for 100 euro. 
they're also a super clean colorway. I like the color blocking in these. I just wish they would have came out before Easter because it would have matched for a lot of people. But it is what it is. So also on the 28th, you have the Air Force One Mids in the Independence Day and also the AL Brown colorway. As I mentioned in the US releases, I am a big fan of these. I really do love the iridescent colors of these, especially in the toe cap, the heels, and the strap. It just looks really nice. So I will probably get the Independence Day as that is my particular favorite. And let me know what yours might be. Would you be able to rock these or not? To finish this off on the 28th, you have the Women's Jordan 11 Low in the pure violet colorway. I mentioned this already. The hits of the violet around the patent leather is super nice. These will be in women's sizing. I don't see an extended sizing available. And I also don't see these on the sneakers app, but I did see particular boutique shops that have these. So you may need to go out to a boutique shop if you want to go grab these. And you'll be able to pick these up for 199 euro. And to finish us off for this week, on the 29th, you have the KCDC Nike SB collaboration. They're in the two-tone pink Dunk Highs. I don't personally like these, but I do know that these will sell out pretty quick. These are available on the Sneakers app, and you'll be able to get these for 125 euro. That will do us for this week. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and the information given to you is helpful. Hopefully you guys were able to cop some of these sneakers that you want and let me know what you guys' thoughts are. I hope to catch you guys later. Please like and subscribe to this channel, comment, and let me know your guys' thoughts on this week's episode. Until next time, have a great week.